Hello everybody and thank you for watching. I'm Jason Vinieri Bean, an Associate Professor in Architecture in the School of Architecture at Pratt Institute in Brooklyn, New York. The pedagogical and design research in this presentation on mixed realities, augmented environmental transparency, explores the confluence of physical contexts, atmospheric media, environmental sensing, and augmented reality in architectural and multidisciplinary design education. This confluence is catalytic in the creation of mixed realities wherein architecture is simultaneously disciplinary and multidisciplinary, as well as increasingly becoming a composite of corporeal and ethereal media. In Program Earth, Jennifer Gabris explores environmental sensing technologies and the ways in which they are in co-evolutionary relationships with environments themselves. New sensing technologies have the capacity to know environments in ways that are different from human biosensing and that they transform physical phenomena into discrete sets of computational phenomena. By transforming materiality into information, sensing does not simply mirror a given reality, but, according to Gabris, quote, generates distinct types of realities, unquote. In addition to generating distinct realities, sensors can also feed back onto the physical world by triggering micro-infrastructural technologies that change atmospheric content or perform environmental tuning, such as altering carbon dioxide levels or soil chemistry. In light of sensing technology, context can be understood as interactive. At the same time, landscapes can be what Christopher McCallarum has termed enabled when their data sets are connected to augmented reality technologies, thus forming mixed reality partnerships between material environments and electronic infrastructures. Architecture's direct engagement with site and context has traditionally been one that privileges physical features or optical experiences. Physical features range from form and geometry to topography and geography to language and tectonics to organizational logics and scalar dimensions. In parallel, optical experiences range from constructed visual relationships and linguistic architectural references to stage vistas and cinematically framed sequences. It seems that these physical and optical approaches to sight specificity and context sensitivity are often bound to each other as a matter of the physical enabling the optical or the optical structuring the physical. In a sense, this emerges out of architecture's deep relationship with drawing and modeling as media for analysis and production, documentation and representation, and measuring and projecting. While drawing, along with photography, has historically been architecture's primary technology for representing and engaging sight and context, photogrammetry and LIDAR scanning have recently emerged as contemporary technologies that architects have begun to use to capture extraordinary contextual detail in point clouds and color mapping. As illuminating as this technology is, it tends to reinforce architecture's physical and visual formulation of sight and context through point cloud modeling of captured surface articulation and true color image data. False color may also be used to draw out non-photoreal readings of sites and contexts for the purposes of legibility or analysis. The high resolution capture of site and context with high population point and color models produces a kind of reality capture at one level and a parallel digital world of ephemeral, if not passive detail, at another level. While the physical and visual technologies of drawing, photography, photogrammetry, and LIDAR scanning continue to produce opportunities for architects to account for or experiment with questions of sight and context, new sensing technologies offer possibilities for architects and designers to engage sights and contexts beyond physical and visual features. Environmental sensors have the capacity to see invisible phenomena such as air temperature and pressure, moisture and humidity, pH level of water or soil, noxious gases, volatile organic compounds, and other features of sight and context that may speak more to ecological inputs and relationships beyond their solid physical, apparent visual, dimensional, or semiotic features that are not only more directly present to human senses in architectural representation techniques, but also tend to be more static than they are dynamic. 
While sensors can serve a documentary purpose, it is critical to note that they are computationally enabled devices that can perform active and ongoing harvesting of non-physical and non-visual information from environmental phenomena that are both constantly changing and physically fluid, as well as atmospheric, microscopic, or non-detectable to typical human sensorial organs. Because they are computationally enabled, they are indeed hardware that can provide inputs to software that, in turn, produces outputs in Levy Bryant's sense that machines become media for other machines. While the environmental data that they harvest from a context can be logged to provide a record of invisible contextual change, they are most powerful in their capacity to sense continuous real-time change and become drivers of new worlds with generative agency. Environmental sensors can be used to change contexts just as much as they can be used to harvest information from them. For example, experimental forest designers and researchers use sensor suites to analyze ecologically augmented changes to those ecological features. The Aspen Face, or Free Air Carbon Dioxide Enrichment Experiment in Wisconsin, has forest sectors with 30-meter rings of vent pipes that act as a kind of sensor-enabled infrastructure for environmental calibration. The vent pipes work in coordination with sensors to manipulate concentration levels of carbon dioxide, ozone, or normal air in the forests. In turn, this contextual tuning changes the growth, leaf development, root characteristics, and soil carbon levels of trees in a given ring, thus creating new versions of the vegetation of a site by manipulating the invisible atmosphere of a site through feedback relationships between sensors and ventilation infrastructures. Similarly, the Marcel Experimental Forest in Minnesota controls air temperature within open-top forest pods to change the environment around peat bog ecosystems and uses a variety of sensors to adjust the context as well as to study the phenotype and performance of ecological entities and differentially simulated versions of possible global warming scenarios. While the computational capacity of sensors can be used to harvest invisible contextual information and in turn drive infrastructures for environmental tuning, the larger implication is that they can not only iterate contexts in real time, but they can also nest multiple alternative micro-contexts within an overall macro-context. And as the invisible environmental features of a micro-context change, the visible, physical, phenotypical, and performative capacities of objects and organisms change as well. This notion has been extended to architectural and urban programming in the work of Sean Lally and Philippe Rahm. Lally's Vatsnameri urban planning proposal for Reykjavik, Iceland, would feed geothermal energy into soil in order to create climatic washes that would warm different areas of the plan thus extending the vegetation and programmatic activities of the plan from their natural season to the full year. This contextual tuning not only creates environments within environments, but it also creates temporal misregistration by having, say, localized summer planting and activity in the midst of an overall winter. In domestic astronomy, Philippe Rahm uses environmental and atmospheric manipulations to create temperature gradients that in turn organize programs and their furnishings in novel spatial ways. Beyond planning and programming the built environment, Lally's work moves into mixed reality scenarios wherein the physical environment is part of a hybrid experience that connects or disconnects with multiple possible virtual worlds. Using sensors, augmented reality, and gaming engines, Lally proposes physical installations that coexist with changing digital environments or readings based on hypothetical contextual change. Physical inhabitants can experience different versions of ecological media based on environmental change or the extraction and reading of some layers of contextual information while filtering out others. For example, the long now allows visitors to a single physical space to see that space in mixed reality with different vegetations that are, quote, plausible yet unfamiliar, unquote. These speculative vegetal aliens are mutated by hypothetical changes in the light spectrum as the Earth's climate and atmosphere changes. In Shaped Touches, Lally sees architecture as a, quote, shaped touch between the body 
and the array of information in which the body interfaces with. Architecture shape is less of an objective form shared by those with physical access and more of a spectrum of sensorial shapes for those with varying access to these increasingly available materials shaped by architects." Unquote. The project proposes a common space of architecture and landscape that becomes different based on visitors' experience of perceptual or contextual change. These perceptual differences are made possible by sensorial manipulation as well as augmented reality overlays. When computer scientist Thad Starner coined the term augmented reality, he was referring to the possibility of having digital information present with you as you moved about your physical reality, your sight, or your context. Starner was primarily concerned with mobility and access to information, more so than visualization, or in his words, quote, exact registration, unquote. Nonetheless, this triggered a revolution in locational computing and context-sensitive information networking that tech reporters Scoble and Israel would later call the age of context, and in their formulation, the importance of the five so-called forces, mobile devices, social media, big data, sensors, and location-based services. While this has commercial implications in the tech world, this presentation is more interested in the speculative ecological relationships among contexts, architectures, and organisms in Lally's work, as well as illuminating the, quote, historical, cultural, and personal significance, unquote, of a landscape in what Christopher McCallarum has described as enabled landscapes. He proposes enabled landscapes as a new medium at the intersection of augmented reality, landscape architecture, sensorial experience, and personal computing. While the important work shown thus far has operated at the scale of space, landscape, and urbanism, the Augmented Environmental Sensing Program at Pratt Institute works with context sensitivity at the middle and micro scale of architectural componentry. This is a pilot program for both design research and architectural pedagogy that is primarily concerned with environmental transparency or the notion of making invisible environmental phenomena in a site or context legible and transparent to users via mixed reality experiences of sensor integrated architecture and augmented reality data visualizations. The first prototype, Local Eyes, demonstrates this. We are interested in supporting environmental awareness and analysis by connecting people to the invisible environments around objects and themselves in the physical world. Born of this interest, Localize is a physical virtual hybrid of architectural hardware and data visualization software that treats architectural componentry as a platform for capturing and viewing invisible environmental data. Localize uses digital design and fabrication to prototype architectural cladding units with sensors integrated into their skins. Sensors harvest environmental data and relay it to a server. An augmented reality platform converts this data into a visual environment that is populated with information, graphics, animation, and spatiality that can be explored by a user on a phone or tablet. In the Localize version 1 prototype, Users are able to view temperature, humidity, light levels, and sound levels at the surface of an architectural membrane over time. The architectural hardware is industrially designed so that sensors and localized triggers can be swapped in and out, upgraded, and adjusted. Through the localized platform, augmented reality environments are designed to be triggered in two ways. Locally, with unit-integrated augmented reality triggers, or globally, with gestural inputs on the screen of a phone or tablet. This allows users to get information about an object and its environment when they are at its location or someplace else. When a platform is triggered, the physical environment around a user's location becomes virtually populated with information within the screen of a phone or tablet. Users are then able to navigate around virtual arrays of information clusters in order to gain insights into what invisible changes are occurring in their environments over time. At the scale of the architectural envelope, the Augmented Environmental Transparency Pavilion, shown here, proposes a sensor-integrated skin that is made of bioplastic sheets. Sensors in the physical skin will harvest hyperlocal environmental information around the pavilion to feed changes in the virtual skin 
that can be seen through an augmented reality app. Eventually, the program decay of the biomaterial skin will dissolve the physical structure, but the virtual structure indexing the history of environmental data will live forever in the app and on the server. Pedagogically, the program seeks to formulate interdisciplinary approaches that support students in the areas of design, fabrication, visualization, and programming, as well as broader aspirations to engage environmental health and justice through transparency, ecological awareness, and sensitivity, and bringing architectural objects into the Internet of Things in a way that supports a sense of socio-ecological urgency. Students engage in a kind of interdisciplinary agility that involves multimodal and multimediated approaches to design and drawing, modeling, composite fabrication, circuitry, hacking, kitchen science, and a range of techniques for what Donna Haraway has called speculative fabulation in science art worlding, from mixed realities to temporal overlays to multiple instantiations of site context architecture relationships to biomaterials that reinforce the ecologically progressive aspirations of the work. While mixed reality relationships among architecture, context, sensing technologies, and augmented reality platforms are catalysts for innovation in design research and pedagogy, they also offer opportunities for new kinds of environmental transparency. Where environments were once opaque material complexes of historical developments, socioeconomic dynamics, toxic particulates, and invisible flows, they can now be rendered as available sets of information to be visualized on site and in real time. This new architecture of mixed reality and environmental transparency transforms the design of objects into the creation of platforms for greater urban, architectural, and ecological awareness and coevolution. Thank you very much for watching.